children today we are going to discuss about that lesson agriculture so this is at the next chapter we are going to see we know that agriculture is the primary activity of our india so agriculture is the primary activity we are doing for lot of times we are continuing the same thing so totally uh, three uh, two third of people are engaged with agricultural activities in our country in that kind of agriculture they are following different kinds of farming methods in this class we are going to discuss the three types of farming method in the class first thing primitive subsistence farming second intensive subsistence farming and the third commercial agriculture so these are the three different types of farming methods so they are following from the olden age first thing the primitive subsistence farming what is the meaning of the primitive subsistence farming as we know in ninth standard the shifting agricultures so in the shifting agriculture they will cut down the trees and they burn the trees and they cultivate on the ashes in the forest after some times they move to the some other place and do the same things and they cultivated likewise the primitive subsistence method of farming is that slash and burn agriculture and what are the tools they are using so they use that tools hoe dow digging sticks and the family labors so these are the things involved in that shifting agriculture that is a primitive subsistence farming and these kinds of practice based on that monsoon they need a suitable monsoon climate and then agricultural fertility so sorry that is a natural fertility the soil fertility we called as and the forest the suitable place in the forest and there are the place the trees which have and they cut down and burn then they will do the cultivations so here the soil fertility decrease when the soil fertility decrease what they usually do they will move to the some other place they choose the fresh patch of land to cultivate a crop that is called as a soil fertility we know that usually uh, three to five years the the soil fertility remain in the soil after that it will decrease but it will not affect the land the natural fertility of the land it will never affect they will they are mostly depend upon the natural fertility they are not using any chemical or biological inputs in the soil and the intensive subsistence farming is the next type of farming so what is that uh, uh, intention of this farming is to get high yield one intensive this kinds of farming method is practiced in the area of high population pressure on the land so here it's so mostly depend upon here we can see it's a labor intensive farming it is depending upon the labor there is no missionary and scientific invention involves in the intensive subsistence farming method here the biological inputs and irrigations are involved they are used in that kinds of farming method to get the higher productions they want high kinds of uh, high level of the quantity want increase so that they are using biological impu inputs and here is that pressure on agriculture land it's a important word we can tell that pressure on agriculture land so what is the meaning of the pressure on agriculture land here when the soil decrease in the primitive method the fertility of soil is decrease they shift to another another land another patch of land but the soil is the soil fertility is not decreased that is the quality of the soil is never decreased but here they are involving more biological inputs like a chemicals and the pesticides like their in, uh, their input is more so for that reason the agriculture land is spoiled getting spoiling in this in kinds of incentive subsistence farming and the third one is that commercial farming so what is the commercial farming it is a it is use of high dose of modern inputs so here also see this is the third level of agriculture method now we are using in our countries that is that using higher doses of modern inputs like machines scientific technologies in the field for example hyv hyv means we know already ninth standard we have discussed about this hyv i yield variety seeds and 
chemical fertilizers pesticides why they are using these kinds of things in agriculture land to get high productions they want to get more production in the field so that they are using these kinds of things and in that kinds of farming method they are using a single crop is grown for a, a large area in a large area there, there, there is no multiple cropping in the same field they were crop only a single crops in the field and the example is the rice is a commercial crops in Punjab in the Punjab side we can see they are cultivating more rice in that Punjab it's not for the domestic purpose for mainly they are cultivating to uh, shift that uh, rice to other that's the commercial purpose only this they want to sell that crop and examples we can know for the commercial tea coffee rubber sugar can banana so these are the important example in commercial agriculture children as we discuss the three types of farming we know that only what is the method from the olden age to modern age they are shifting the method and they are inputting more chemical on the land that's the word we can call the pressure on agriculture land day by day their inputs are more in chemically and their biologically and scientifically their inputs are more for the reasons the more pressure on agriculture land we are wasting the agriculture the quality of the quantity of the land so it will decrease day by day and we are foiling our future generations they cannot do agriculture with our agriculture land so you learn these things from this topic children once again you uh, go through the notes and uh, read that lessons well thank you